Hello there. Welcome to Sea Terms. Today, we will learn about how to attack or exploit JWT tokens. Understand what is JWT tokens? A JWT is an open standard that defines a compact and self-contained way for securely transmitting information between parties as a JWT object. This information can be verified and trusted because it is digitally signed. JWTs can be signed using a secret or a public private key pair. JSON Web Token Structure A JSON Web Token consists of three components, a header, a payload, and signature. The header typically consists of two parts, the type of token, which is JWT, and the hashing algorithm that is used, such as HMAC, SHA256, or RSA. The payload contains information about the user that is logged in, such as username, email address, user ID, etc. Signature is the most important part of the JWT tokens. It is signed by the server using the secret key in the algorithm which is mentioned in the header. To put it all together, we base 64 URL encode the signature and join together the three parts. Sensitive information leakage because the payload is transmitted in plain text. Information leakage occurs if there is sensitive information in the payload. Non-algorithm Some JWT libraries support the non-algorithm, that is, no signature algorithm. When the AUG is none, the backend will not perform signature verification. Change AUG to none. Remove the signature data from the JWT and submit it to the server. Use the burp extension called JSO and web token to try this vulnerability and to change different values inside the JWT. Send the request to repeater and in the JSO and web token tab you can modify the values of the token. You can also select to put the value of the AUG field to none. Modify the algorithm RS256 to each S256. The algorithm each S256 uses the secret key to sign and verify each message. Worries? The algorithm RS256 uses the private key to sign the message and uses the public key for authentication. If you change the algorithm from RS256 to each S256, the backend code uses the public key as the secret key and then uses the each S256 algorithm to verify the signature. Then, using the public key and changing our S256 to each S256, we could create a valid signature. Provide a non valid signature. It is also possible that the signature of the token is never verified after it arrives at the application. This way an attacker could simply bypass the security mechanism by providing an invalid signature. Brute force the secret key. It could also be possible to brute force the key used to sign a JWT. There is more way to attack JWT. If you need detailed video on the same, please let us know in the comments section. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to see terms.